Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I did put it on my notebook, Blue Bike and Doyle. Um, that's Doyle himself. And he said, because I forgot it yesterday, I believe, I guess I did, I don't know, I didn't review my video, but he said I forgot to say where I was from, but I'm from Western New York. And I wrote, hi, I'm from Western New York. I wrote it so that I would remember to say it. Okay, I'm going to put in a little video today, and it's going to have, um, Jim surprised me. I was out planting Granny B's spaghetti squash seed, and um, I had, I was, I had rooted it in the paper towel, and it should have been done a long time ago, but I finally did it, and he surprised me with the camera, and he was videotaping me digging in the harder dirt. He didn't disturb that dirt because I had other stuff planted there and he didn't, he couldn't road till there because I had already put stuff in the, the dirt. And, um, so let's put the video, oh, and there was going to be about the garden and, um, I'm going to show you how I cut the plastic bags. So let's go to the video right here. Nice. Oh, what are you doing? You watching me? <laughs> Granny B, I'm going to plant corn squash here. I'm putting it right here by my potato. Oh, my stars. They should have been planted a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to have to break the root to get it out. Oh, that's so sad. Well, there it is. It's brought another little fat friend along with it. I'm going to show you how I cut the bags to crochet them. This is how I fold them when they're just in the bag of bags. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut this ragged part off. So you're going to go right where that little curve is on the handle and you're going to cut that off. Then you're going to cut the seam on the bottom off. There's a seam here. So you want to cut that off. Okay, once you cut those off, this is garbage. And then you open them up. And because I had them folded, you want to you want to flatten them out so you don't have this piece of of the bag. You want to flatten it out so it's flat. You're going to flatten the whole thing out. So that there's nothing folded anymore. And then you're going to refold now that you've got everything flat. You're going to take it and you're going to bring it up to, you're going to leave yourself at least, oh, I don't know, a felt, an inch at least. And then you're going to fold the other side up and keep folding until you've got a little narrow strip here. But you still have that inch up above that is free. Then you're going to take your scissors. I got to come closer to me. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut approximately inch apart or a little more. I usually there's like nine cuts usually, and I just kind of eyeball it. And you cut only a little snip into that part that you didn't fold into it. Just a little snip into this other part. Okay, then I take it and I just open this little piece right here. Some of them will open all of these little tabbies, but it's so static electricity that you don't want to do that. And what you're going to look for is you're going to look for this first cut. And because I'm right-handed and my scissors are in this hand, I'm going to aim for that cut. If you were left-handed, you'd aim for this one. So I'm going to go from the edge here and I'm going to cut up to that little piece right there. Now you're just going to keep this angle. It would be all one. And when you get to the last one, you see there's no, no um, one to clip into, so you just clip off the edge. And this is your first, this is where you begin when you're crocheting. 
you have these pieces, it's all one. See, it's all one. And when you crochet, you just crochet like you would crochet normally. Let me find the opening. Okay. Now with these, I actually do them the other crochet when I get to this part because plastic won't slide as easily as yarn. So you're going to single crochet and what I did is I single crocheted, I made a, a magic ring and then I crocheted five times in that ring and then I crocheted five times around that ring and then I crocheted two times in each of the crochets. So I ended up with ten and then I crocheted, skipped two and did two crochets until I get it the size I want it. Once you get it the size you want it, you just go into each one and see this is for a mason jar so it will fit the mason jar. But this is the right side so when you get done you will actually turn it over because this is the this would be considered the wrong side. Right, but when you're using it, when you put it on the bottle, you want the in the... Right side showing. Right side out and yes. the wrong side in. That's right. That's what you want. And as you get to the end of each strip, you would just pull and it undoes. See? So you just keep going. around and around and around and if you wanted to make a bigger disc you can make bigger discs like this is this is a this is a small one you can go as big as you like like this was going to be this was going to be a big basket this one i i started a long time ago it's got it's a bag of bags that one had one handle this one has two handles but they're both bags of bags and these are just walmart bags or Home Depot bags or um, Tops. Tops bags. I don't know whose bag that was. That might have been an old Walmart bag. Walmart used to be white. And they've gone back white now. But they were gray for a long time. There you go. That's how you do the crocheting. The bag pattern. There really is no bag pattern. I just kind of wing it as I do it. What you could do is you could Google... How to, how to crochet a bowl, and if you go to Adoring, or go to Pamela's Adoring Crochet, she can show you how to do the bottom. She's got that bowl that she shows how to make for the washcloths, or the basket, it's a basket. And um, she shows you how to do that, and you could go there and you, and you just follow that pattern, and it will get you to where you want to go with the plastic. Now the plastic doesn't slide as easily on the on the crochet hook and it's easy if it, if you have trouble you can baby powder it I have done that before I've put baby baby powder on my hands and I've kind of wiped across the the plastic just to give it a little slipperiness because it does get st stuck on the needle it's not like yarn yarn really slides real easy and you'll notice that I crochet it the other way only because it, I can let it slide through my hand a little easier it doesn't um, doesn't stick as much it's a little easier actually okay now I also had I forgot to mention this that when I had mentioned that someone had said I had curly hair it was Gloria yeah, the lady Gloria yes hi uh, I, I get a kick out of that name because I forgot her one time and I'm not forgetting her anymore but anyways Gloria had made the comment of, of about my hair being curly and I really wanted to let her know it was a wig at the time but a lot of people read my comments and so what I did do in in Barb's comment because Barb had mentioned something about my hair too and I had a shirt on that was Barb Who's wears Barb? A, a Barb I don't know take control, um, take control beauty. beauty oh that's right <laughs> Yes, that's Barb. Well, anyway, she had mentioned my shirt one time, and she wears a lot of shirts. Like, I had a boat neck shirt on it that day, and she wears a lot of shirts that are really, they're pretty. She's got a lot of boat neck shirts. or off-the-shoulder kind of shirts. And she was saying that I was looking more like her, and I said, yes, with her. I was copying her, 
and it was a her help or something I can't remember how I wrote it but her and Paula Young were my inspiration and I figured she would get the she would know because she knows who Paula Young is um, but apparently she missed it and I think she's seen it now so thank you Barb for checking on it and she also found the one that I tagged her in. She didn't know that I had tagged her. I don't notify anybody that I tagged them. If they see the video and do it, then I'm very pleased that you did it. If you didn't see it and didn't do it, where'd the glitter come from? And um, <laughs> there's glitter on here. I don't know. Um, oh, it's from these things. It's from yours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I got distracted by some sparkle. Sparkle and shine. But anyways... Um, what they say about squirrel? Oh, I know. There is. They're outside. <laughs> oh, and I want to tell you, don't forget, tomorrow is Flag Day. I should have said that at the beginning, but I forgot because it's at the bottom of my paper. But remember, I would tell you tomorrow that it's Flag Day, but I do these so late in the day. But just remember, tomorrow, put your flag out. It is Flag Day. And it's also my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's anniversary. He got married on Flag Day, so he would never forget his anniversary. So that's what he did. Now, I want to show you also, someone had asked me if I ever made those little scrubbies. I have made those little scrubbies. I made them all a couple years ago. This, they were for Merry Christmas for the people at work. I made um, different scrubbies. This one's green and yellow and orange on that side, and it's yellow, and it's different on the other side. They're different, but they're the same. Es lo mismo, it's the same. Okay, that's a little Spanish for you. <laughs> it's about all I know. And this one's pink and orange. It's kind of pretty. They're pretty. And then I did a, a blue. I did a whole bunch of colors. I showed these in a box one time. And then another year, I had made these little um, coasters. This was for Merry Christmas also. But these coasters, I made this sets of four. And they're all, they're different. They were different colors and different design. But I, I still put, like, if they were yellow and this multicolored, they both were of that. But they had it in there a different way. So that they were, they're, they're alike but different. They, they go together, but they're different. So that was another thing I wanted to show you. And that's how, where my glitter came from, from these ribbons that I could not crochet you can't I couldn't do those or something I don't know what I did with them I just used them to to make pretty on the packages because the the glitter was it gets all over the place as I can see it's still doing that <laughs> well I guess that is the end of this video enjoy tomorrow it is flag day I hope it's a warm flag flag day for you our day was it was sunny windy chilly they say it's supposed to warm up again, so when it does... It was comfortable for mowing. For, for mowing, but I for didn't mow. Mowing. I went outside to see the mowing, the mower. I didn't see the mower. mowing, yeah. and um, no, I didn't see that. Okay, well, that was it. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.